Your forecast first for tonight, partly cloudy skies, 49 degrees for an overnight low. For tomorrow, a high temperature of 65 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, and we do have the chance of showers. The best chance will be in the afternoon and evening, and the further west you go, the better chance you're going to run into some rain. Our high today of 70, 10 degrees above average. Our morning low of 47, almost 10 degrees above average. No precipitation out at the airport. 606 is our sunset time. 70 degrees currently in Spokane. Dry air in place. Our dew point down at 31. That's a measure of atmospheric moisture. 66 currently in Coeur d'Alene. Also very dry. Winds out of the southeast at 7. Here's our satellite and radar. And boy, we have a very striking feature here. And cold front bringing some rain to the west side of Washington. It looks rather ominous, like it's just going to pounce on us, but it is running into a ridge of high pressure that's fairly hearty and is going to take the wind out of this storm sails and slow it down. So as it approaches, we will see the clouds increasing tonight and through the day tomorrow, but it's going to take a while for any precipitation to come out of these clouds. It will start along the Cascades by tomorrow morning and then increase across the the rest of the region by tomorrow afternoon. A better chance of some rain on Wednesday. Then behind this front and unsettled conditions for hit and miss showers and cooler weather as the week goes on. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 40s across the region with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures running above average again overnight. 63 tomorrow in Omax, 65 in Moses Lake with a chance of showers, chance of rain around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Again, the best chance will be the second part of the day. That will be the case in the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho as well. Temperatures tomorrow in the 60s. Precipitation slow to move in to Libby, Kalispell, and Kellogg. By tomorrow evening, a chance of rain there. Rain for Seattle, Portland, Yakima, and Cranbrook tomorrow. And then eventually moving into Missoula as Boise as that cold front slowly makes its way to the east. Showers possible on Tuesday, a good chance of showers on Wednesday, and then unsettled and cool conditions continue off and on through the week as weak disturbances make their way through. The region Wednesday looks to be the wettest day of the work week, but we'll have some hit and miss showers throughout. And it looks like we're not done with the warm weather, warming up again the second half of the weekend and into next week. We're possibly another 70 on the map, but cold days are coming and our 29th annual Coats for Kids drive is underway. You can help by dropping off a new or gently used warm winter coat at one of our participating locations or here at the station. We have a complete list of drop off locations on KXLY.com as well as a place where you can make a tax deductible donation. I will do the coat shopping for you which oh. is a lot of fun. That's one of the best parts of, the, <laughs> of my job. <laughs> All sorts of incentives there. Yes. Make it real easy for people to help out. I, yes. All Please right. do. Thank you so much, Chris.